there's a couple of different techniques that um, not just myself but other researchers have been um, trying out sort of in experimental studies um, um, and, and other um, methods um, over like the last pa couple of decades for example um, and there's two that seem to show to be the most effective one of them is what I described very much for what we did with the wall of gratitude which is uh, just simply writing down three good things um, and so you know it's just a list it's like a gratitude list so at, usually at the end of the day you would just sort of contemplate you know what three good things you know happen to you now the format that that can take can be different and this is one of the things that we sort of inspired people to do too with the Sheffield wall of gratitude we had the you know, we, they could download the lists as well. They could they could take bricks home with them and do it. Um, but one of the things we talked about, and it's something I've done with my family as well too, is you can do this exercise around the family dinner table, right? So you you again bringing in that social element. So it can be a private thing that you do for yourself, or you could just take turns. Okay, what are your three good things today? And that way you learn about what's going on in the lives of you know your friends and family members and, and at the same time you're learning to sort of cultivate that grateful mindset. So that's one thing you, know, you can do is you can do that three good things, that sort of writing that, that what we call a gratitude list. Um, there's evidence to suggest this is best done at the end of the day. Um, so if you're doing it privately and not sort of in that, that family context that I just described, um, doing it just before you go to bed has actually been proven to improve your sleep and your sleep quality. So people actually sleep better when they write down the things that they're grateful for. It has a very powerful effect again. I think because again, it, 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 you, you know, you're ending your day not worrying about all the things you didn't get done and all the things that didn't go right. You're thinking about the things that actually went pretty good and that you're really grateful that happened. And that allows you to sort of relax a bit more and, um, and enjoy a better night's sleep. So there is some scientific evidence suggesting that's the best time to do that. Um, the other technique, um, and it, it's similar, but again, it's it, it's something that you might just do more spontaneously, um, or just do on a on a daily basis. What they call it a gratitude diary, and there's a lot of apps out there now as well. And there's apps also for that three good things. So you probably, if anybody, you go into your your iPhone or your Android, you know, play your Google Play Store, and you look for. Um, you know gratitude a whole bunch of different ones will come up so th there's there's lots of ways to support that but you can just have a gratitude diary um, and some of the electronic ones allow you to put in pictures um, you know or just write like a diary you know so it's it's not as formalized as three good things but it's the same kind of idea um, and what this these techniques do is they're tools so you start off doing them and they get you into thinking this way so that eventually you start thinking this way more spontaneously, right? Um, and this is one of the things that the research on these techniques have shown. Um, sometimes they don't have an effect right away. And there's a bit of um, a bit of controversy in some of the research on this that sometimes we we've ex don't see very powerful effects from people doing these things soon after they've started doing them. But what you do see is that effects start coming up up to six months later. So they seem to have lasting benefits. And the reason is, is that it's not because you're doing it regularly all the time. You do it regularly to change your way of thinking. Once your way of thinking is changed and you have more of a grateful mindset, you just do it spontaneously and you can see that that would have more lasting benefits.